it is in the heart of the Catalan Pyrenees where we can find um, the first legal statutes against uh, statutes, sorry, against the um, new crime of witchcraft. Uh, the statutes promulgated in the Pyrenean Valley, the Valley of Aneu, in 1424. Two main concepts regarding uh, the Catalan uh, witch hunts. The first one is precocity, and the other one is intensity, because uh, while the Catalan sources demonstrate the existence of massive witch hunts in the region during early modern times, the 16th and especially the 17th century, and we are talking about hundreds and even thousands of women accused by their own neighbors as witches and then arrested, tried and uh, finally um, executed by the local authorities. The most of the trials and convictions are to be found in those uh, territories with a, uh, let's say, decentralized uh, legal and judicial system uh, with uh, autonomous courts of justice operating at a local scale, which was obviously the case of Catalonia. Paradoxically, maybe the few women that managed to bring their case in front of the Holy Office of the Inquisition, uh, sieging in Barcelona, they ended up uh, being either absolved um, seeing their cases dismissed or, in some cases, uh, convicted to minor penances such as uh, public repentance or temporary banishment. We cannot blame a minority of uh, fanatic inquisitors uh, chasing uh, popular culture or whatever. Uh, instead, the reality that um, emerges from these uh, sources it's uh, more darker because in a way it was um, the whole society 